Hello, I've put it this sparse here, and today we do some more Soul Singularity. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe for more amazing stuff. We just passed 600 sub subscribers, which is pretty impressive. We it's well, we only literally just hit 500, so yeah, that's quite impressive. Um, now, if you're wondering why I'm in the normal primary simulation, boo, boring. <laughs> um, it's because apparently there's like a there's a new secret achievement which. I think we saw last time, which is down here. Look, see, <laughs> yeah, we got mi we're missing one. So, um, and someone said in the comments that it's a fox apparently, and it's left of a waterfall. And there's four. What's that? <laughs> They've got. What is that? A um. That's the issue with that button being there. It's in the way of the, of the camera's like, X button. Looks like they've moved some things around. We've got a grizzly bear up here now, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, I'll just have a look around and see if I can find it. Oh, that they updated the fox as well, isn't this? Oh, look at that little baby fox. I can't remember what baby foxes are called. Yeah, oh well. Now, if I'm seeing this right, this looks... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I just saw him, like, just there, and... In... He's he's floating a little bit, um, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's, I didn't even look at the achievement because it's quite hidden away. Um, Tibetan type type S type whatever fox. It looks very grumpy. Um, Tibetan. That's definitely not how I pronounce it. <laughs> um, a soft and small with a fluffy yellow tail. Their square-shaped head. Well, I can see that. And narrow muzzle give them a dis disaffected look, <laughs> but help them to hunt their prey. Pika, okay, not Pikachu, Pika, um, across the hills of the Thai. I think it's like Tibet, yeah, Tibetan. So it's like Tibet with an an Tibetan Tibetan fox. Sounds about right. Okay, so that's nice. So now we've got um, here we go, there we go. That's some Darwinium. So that's lovely. And I got all the secret achievements again. Speaking of achievements, if we head over to beyond, oh look at that, we got fifty Darwinium. Well, that's nice. Oh, nice. Uh, we've got. Uh, look at this. We got. Uh, uh, what's this called? The beyond. <laughs> I forgot. Already forgot. Uh, we got beyond achievements. Look at all these. Look at all this. It's quite a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. So unfortunately, it did reset the progress. I've done a little bit. But yeah, look, they've updated it. The lines look a lot nicer now, like, between the planets. Um, and I think they've, uh, I think Mercury definitely looks, look at that, like how lovely Mercury looks. Earth is the same, it's just like a reused asset from the primary simulation. Um, the sun looks absolutely lovely. Got Venus, I mean, it's just a bit yellow. <laughs> That's kind of Venus, isn't it? So yeah, we need to rank up Earth and... I put this on before I started recording, and it's still not done yet. How long does it take? Two minutes? Oh. Yeah, well, I guess I didn't start recording a long time ago then. Let's turn on the boost, because I like money. <laughs> so we need to rank up Venus and rank up Earth, and unfortunately they're both incredibly expensive. So I'm going to overdrive. There we go. Uh, max space time 4k. Well, 4 times. Um... Yeah, so got Ultra Boost. So that should speed this up. Oh yeah, 42 seconds from... Yeah, that's that's good. Um, yeah, so I guess what these some of these achievements would just be getting X amount of, like, Sun or Mercury or Venus or something like that. I mean, that seems to be what all the other achievements were, and they've got a nice new name with a bit of information next to them. Um, yeah, Objective, completely in a solar system. Not that exciting. Um, oh, there we go, Mar uh, Mars, Earth, 33, oh, that's pretty good, good money from Earth, Earth has a lot of money, apparently, there we go, let's get that, so if you're a cloud, automate, well, speed Venus up, and we can rank up Earth, wonderful, let's, I just kind of want to rush the um, first one, can automate Earth now, and we got Mars, I mean, I, d I didn't even know to know, ah, it's whizzing past, I they've also updated the, um, little quantums now, so they've got a trail to them. Although, I think that quantum is out, is just gone. 
Oh, that's a nice touch, so that if you don't get the quantums fast enough, they just disappear. Which I think is quite good. Um, oh yeah, look at this, we've got a nice little black hole forming around Venus, that's wonderful. Um, supercharge, you'd like to overcharge your orbit production, which times, it's, times it by 30. Or you just have it times by 4, which is still really good. <laughs> and then we just need to collect some stardust, and then we should be good. I remember in um, like the early phase of the Beyond, when there was like a meter, like a bar on the side that you could use to like speed up and slow down the planets. That was quite fun. Um, but they they removed it like pretty much immediately. But it made the planets spin round really fast, like they are at the moment. Oh, quantum! Oh my! Look how fast it is! Wow! I guess that's because we got what four times space time, so it's kind of like a disadvantage. In that sense, the fact that it like, you know, it make it speeds up the quantums and makes them harder to click. Um, there we go. And this is just a a little old dwarf dwarf star. And then we can upgrade the universe. Look at that rushed the first one. Create the inner solar system. Lovely. Now we can warp drive, warp warp jump drive to um, the second universe. So it's gonna go. Oh, it went red. How lovely. From the void, well, this is new. From the void, a spark of energy energy ignites. Soon, this fireball begets for pronounce right the terrestrial planets closest to the heat of the sun. Okay, I'm sure that's act. I'm sure that's proper English. Discover the moons. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm sure it's proper English. Ing English. Yes, it's it's as good English as mine. Um. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a bit confusing. Uh, so what do we got? We can't do any research. Let's do dark matter number one. Venus, let's grab you. <laughs> um, we're making a decent amount of money now. Put some into the sun. There we go. This will increase our income substantially. And then we just need three grand and we can go to Earth. You know, not that we're not on Earth, but you know. Um, there we go, ocean blues. Oh, lovely, upgrade traits. Mars, wonderful, we got the moon. And then we need to up collect stardust to get the moon. And then, uh, Bob's your uncle. That sounds about right. Then we can sink a lot of that into there. Uh, no, I just don't need to four times that one. I'll sink it into the sun, how about that? There we go. Eight times payout, and then we have... Oh, increase the suns. And ah, we got two constellation fragments. God, you love, you love it when you get those. Okay, so, oh, we're making quite a bit now. Admittedly, we have got four times, but, you know. Let's activate this. Um, and then we need to collect five, well, six million, really. Um, until we can, yeah, so, until we can get the moon. So this was the, um, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh... Yeah, so all progress will be restarted. Yeah, yeah, we've already seen that. Rebalancing rare and epic power levels. Major progression and pacing pass. That's... I think that's good. Tweak to Serenium mission timers. Universe rank rank up cutscene update. Semblance diag segment. That's what we just saw, that red screen. Achievements add for all major generations. Do you mean added? Um, each of the 12 constellations unlocked it gives an achievement. That's good. Constellation bonus is rebalanced. Constellation bonus taught it more clear and what it does. Um, I'm not going to grab this real quick. Um, uh, Q bundles should work correctly now. Save mission icon updated. Uh, added mission, missing icons for Helosphere and Alpha Centauri. Um, sound effects. Sun rays radiate out from the sun. Generator on the tree. Um, fixed brackets showing the wrong side of the solar system garden. Quantum charge is now hidden while ranking up. That's good. So I guess the beam of light is this bright, well, you know, beam. Um, so let's have a look at this now. Increase comet speed, increase moon speed, increase celestial body speed. So, oh, it tells you the multiply times three, times three, all cloud object, click power, star, gas planet, research mission, terrestrial planet, ice planet, and then back to comet. Okay, so yeah, that does seem a bit more clear. Um, what else is there? I've already forgotten what some, <laughs> what parts of it were. 
Right, so I think that is kind of it for the time being. Uh, well, the moons, that's the thing, because Mars is... Mars is moons. Um, they've... Last time, well, in the last video I did... I think it was the last one, I can't even remember. Oh yeah, it was, because I have terrible consistency. Um, like, um, on the thumbnail, it had the... Um, it had, like, a couple of Mars' moons. Well, um... Oh, what was it called? I can't even remember now. So, Deimos and Phobos, which were, um, the two moons. I might not be pronouncing that right. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, those were the two moons, but both of them were called, uh, Phobos. So, in the thumbnail, I crossed out and corrected it to Deimos. I think we want... Let's just invest... Stonks. Stonks. Um, let's just put some into... I want click power. What's this? Uh, PCs. PCs. <laughs> um, PCs represents a pair of fish. Oh, it's probably not saying that right. The spring equinox occurs in PCs. Although it's one of the largest constellations in the zodiac, it's quite dim and could be hard to see with the naked eye. That's nice. Oh, look at those sound effects. Uh, Kulat Nunu, giant binary star system. And 294 light years away, that's pretty far. Uh, main sequence star, binary system, 139. I mean, they're all really far away, aren't they? Like, that's just the, the given with the universe, isn't it? Everything's really, really far away. And there we go, we've got... Uh, oh, this isn't the moon. Oh, that's great. I've, uh, it's not always what you think. Yes, now I need to rank up all of the stuff. That automates Mars good. So now you need to just... Now we rank up the sun, that's not... You know, the hardest thing in the world. There we go. Rank up Mars. That's going to be a little pricey. Um, I mean, we can get it. Constellation fragment. Oh, yeah, there, there he is. Rusty red. And then Earth it needs to be... Oh, uh, yikes. Um, so let's put one back in here. Is the star of a name? No. So yeah, it is like we've got one fish over here. And we've got... Uh, a... F a and, you know, just like air quotes, fish over here. Um, yeah. Um, nice. Oh, oh, look at that. We can get the sun to be. <laughs> it's round. It's also a three D asset in there. Look at that. I don't know if that's just like the way I'm looking at it, but I'm fairly sure that they've put a three D asset in there and just made it spin around. I mean, I mean, it looks good. So I like that. Um, I think this is what they wanted the screen to look like, because in some of the earlier, like, you know, snapshots, I guess, or art, <laughs> um, they wanted it to look a bit more like this, you know, you've got, like, the planets in there, slowly rotating, you know, oh, let's get Mercury to be giving me lots of money, um, and yeah, they wanted it to look a bit more like this, oh, never mind, I think it look, it's more like because the sun's rays are, like, hitting it, and then it's, like, Bright. Be cool if they had like a fast Mercury. <laughs> look at him. Look at him go. He's just whizzing around. Be nice if they made the when it's like doing this. Oh hello. Um, if it's doing this, it like um, shows in here. Like it starts glowing. <laughs> I mean that would be quite scary if you're on Earth looking at Mercury and it just starts like just glowing like viciously, just like vigorously glowing like really brightly. It's like what the heck? Uh, yeah. Anyway, this I've waffled on for like four more minutes, so uh, enjoy the <laughs> long. It's like three more minutes. Um, anyway, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I said at the beginning, if you liked, if if you liked there, yeah, then then like the video, because that makes sense. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, do me a favor and subscribe if you're still watching to the end, even though you probably are. If you still watching. If you're not, then, like, you may as well, right? Because I'm just waffling. Uh, have a good day. Farewell.